What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Today we got something kind of cool. You'll probably get to hear me cuss a lot and say lots of bad words as I get frustrated. Actually, no, I'm getting more and more used to the bug out, so shouldn't be too bad. But we are going to change this bug out around. Uh, we are going to take these micarta scales off, take this uh, rock scale backspacer out, and we're going to replace both of those. And we're also going to replace the washers. What we have here are some Glow Rhino scales with tritium inserts and Glow Rhino backspacer with tritium inserts. And these are not from Glow Rhino. I can't remember who these come from. I got these from Craig. Uh, some oversized washers for the bug out, which will, with a bug out, sometimes you get side to side. It's kind of common with them. This will help to prevent that side to side action. We are going to go ahead and Polish shows up a little bit too. Definitely look look like they could use a little polish, a little rub job, do a little rub rubby dub on them. Man, this mat. I love this mat, but those little honeycombs sometimes trap stuff. So, um, I guess let's take it apart. One thing I am concerned about though is there's a screw that goes here, right? And by taking this backspacer out, I'm gonna have this up here, which will be in here like this. I can't remember for this screw right here. I can't remember this if there's a. Uh, I don't think there's a standoff in there, so I don't. I may not have a standoff to go there. Uh, if there's, a, if there is a standoff there, then we're gonna stop this, and I'm gonna have to find a standoff to go back in there because I have uh, a, a blue standoffs, but blue is just not gonna look right, you know, because this is green tritium, not the uh, blue tritium. I can't remember what size I need here. Smaller than that. All right, we're just gonna take this side off real quick and see if I need a standoff. Because if I need a standoff, this video is gonna end and you're never gonna see it and I'm talking to myself. Get out of there, bitch. Uh, come on now. There you go. I knew you could do it. T10, T6 on everything else, T10 on the pivot for the bug out. Take a look here. Yeah, see, I need a standoff to go back in there. So I'm not going to be able to finish this video after all. Um, that won't work in there. Oops. No, because that's just the thickness of the scale, so that's not going to work. I need two standoffs. I gotta get two black standoffs or two green, two titanium standoffs. So, um, actually, call out to the community. I will upload this video. Anybody out there customize their bug out and it came with black standoffs and you no longer need them, let me know, please. Um, I'd love to get them from you because I don't want to uh, buy a whole kit for this. Um, and I don't care if they're what they are, just black. I don't really need to anodize them any color. So, so yeah, if anybody out there has two spare standoffs for the bug out, only black though. I have blue, I already checked. I've got my blue ones, and then uh, I've got some red ones. But that's all I got. 
and the red ones are actually in use on my other bug out. They're in use here, so I need two of those in black. Or right, unless you happen to have them in green, green will work too. One thing. I think I'm going to like this build. I think it's going to make it feel more like a bug out should feel, right? A little, a little thicker, obviously, than the FRN scales you get. But uh, it's going to be flat and give it more. If there's no... Uh, yeah, it's just purely flat. There's no contouring at all on these. So make it feel more like the bug out originally felt. A little sturdier, though. Not as flexible. All right, let me get some pot clip on here and readjust this pivot because it's definitely going to need some work done to it. Bug outs can be a little finicky when you don't know how to work on them. As if you watch my older videos, you will see that. But once you figure them out, man, they're really not that bad. And adjusting the pivot's not that bad either. And I really wanted to put the oversized washers in there, but I'm not going to take it all the way apart. Just have to do it again when I get the standoffs. All right, you bitch. I love the way their pocket clips work, but they are a pain in the butt to get screws in when you use titanium screws. There we go. Yeah, so just so you know, if you buy the Glow Rhino scales and backspacer insert thing, you're going to have to have two standoffs. So if you've already put a backspacer in there, uh, you're going to need standoffs to make it work. Oh, we're dead centered already. And we got no blade play. We're a little too tight though, see? She won't drop for us. But with the bug out, man, it's just a tiny turn at a time. Barely turn it at all. And you'll hit that spot where it'll drop. You go back a little bit more. Still dead centered. There we go. We back in business. Slight, slightest little movement. Slightest. All right, guys. Sorry this was unfulfilling, but yeah, I wasn't going to even upload this. But now that I think about it, one of you guys out there may have a couple spare uh, bench mates or bug out standoffs that you would be willing to part with. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram, comment on this video, and let me know down below, and I can DM you somewhere. Or you can email me at bladesandedc at gmail.com. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'll wait to look online. Because I, I do remember seeing them. I think they were charging like $10 each for one of those standoffs. 20 bucks for two little aluminum standoffs. I'd rather not pay that if one of you guys out there has a uh, has some you're not using. So let me know, please. I, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.